Before I start today's video, I'd just like to give a special mention to a Facebook group called Fallout 4 Fanatics. Uh, this is quite a large group that I'm an administrator for. Um, it's got about 7,000 members and it's a very helpful and friendly group. So if you want to talk about anything to do with Fallout, please join the group and you'll often see that I post all my content in there and I'm quite active in the group. So thank you guys and on to the video. Hey there guys, Ibadaki Ben here. So I'm at Oberland Station and uh, I was asked if I could make uh, a raider style settlement. So uh, this is my take on what I think a raider style settlement would look like. Uh, this is based on some of the things I've seen in game. So uh, let's take a look at the first build. So the first one's just kind of a small shack. So we've just got very basic things inside it. And then we've got turrets attached on the outside. And then moving on to the main buildings, going up we've got this building which has got two beds in it, kitchen, random bath. And then we've got spotlight which is covering the whole area. Uh, going up and in the next building we've got two more beds in here, and we've got a living area and then outdoor drug lab kind of area. So we've got our tunnel with a couple more beds in there, going through to the next building. So this one's got another two beds in it, and then got another outdoor part for just chairs and relaxing area really. Uh, going down, uh, we've got our crafting stations, uh, some more tables and chairs, and then you've got kind of a lounge area. So I realise this is like not very raider orientated as far as the furniture goes, but there's not much furniture that's really suitable. So inside we've got uh, another another place here, which uh, you've got all the amenities in this one. This was the first one I built. So we've got a bath and a toilet, a kitchen area, bed and living space as well. Uh, going down, we've got another small shack. So this one's got two beds in it and very basic furniture, mismatching chairs as well. And then uh, I believe there is one more shack just here. Got this one as well. So this one's got two beds in it again and just minimal amount of furniture, no real decoration or anything. Then I've got my main farm directly in the centre with a spotlight looking down over it. Uh, the whole place is surrounded by turrets and uh, this cost a lot of wood to build. This used about 2,000 wood to make all of this. Um, I could have done the buildings floating and saved on wood but I, I don't like the floating style. The only floating part we've got is the walkway over to the next building. I was going to have walkways surrounding it in all four corners but um, the build size on this place uh, was almost run out with what I've got now so uh, I couldn't really add any more. So it's got 16 beds, defense is 50, food and water is 15. Um, all of my settlers, uh, with the exceptions of the ones that have just arrived, uh, all have raider style clothes on. So uh, yeah, this is my uh, raider settlement, so uh, let me know what you guys think, and if you've got any ideas then obviously let me know as well, because uh, if I can improve on it that would be great. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks to everyone for watching and supporting my channel. As always, please leave a like and comment as your feedback is greatly appreciated and if you haven't already, subscribe now. Also, you may like to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, add me as a friend, add me to your Google circles, follow me on Instagram, add me on Tumblr, join my group, subscribe to my Twitch account, reshare my Facebook posts, retweet all my tweets, like all my statuses and pictures coming from everything I've done and watch every single video I've made, twice. Thank you.